Hello everyone, I'm Arpita Sharma, your math teacher. Welcome to our Eyes a Talent. We are discussing right now linear equation in two variables and we were discussing uh, uh, um, after theory we were discussing about some numericals. Numericals we have done, we have seen some word problems student. Now word problem, we have started from there word problems right that is situational based that uh, that is on simultaneous linear equation we have seen this kind of when when you are uh, buying some items and this is given in a language form and you have to find so we have covered this then the number problem okay we have covered this also then the age problem now age was again we have discussed in another chapter name them okay now after that Again, we will uh, went with the number problem where sum of two this is, uh, is given or reversing the numbers, something like that. In that, we have to assume the numbers. Okay, now, second, uh, on, in that order, we, we, uh, we again go through with the number problem, this time with the numerator and denominator. Then, distance, traveling questions, distance, velocity, that is speed, speed you are uh, right now having this velocity will be further discussed okay then the boat question that was downstream and upstream question in that we have seen that we will consider if the downstream is there then will be subtract because the direction of the uh, do two things the stream and the object or a man who is crossing the river or a boat is uh, you know opposite then opposite will use minus sign between them and if it is in the same direction that is if it is up, upstream that will be going to subtract and it is in same direction like downstream that that will be added okay then we have this question now today we are going to discuss this question which is based on the uh, figures we have studied like rectangle triangle circle this kind of figure we have discussed right in our triangle chapter circle chapter we have discussed now we will use that formula thing formula of perimeter or area or volume that can be given to you that plus this that plus this right formation of these kind of these kind of equation linear equation in what two variables so this is again the question on figure now we are going to discuss the first on the mathematics figure now what it is saying to you that is if a rectangle if in a rectangle the length is increased and width reduced each by 2 meters right the area is reduced by 20 square meter what the examiner or what the discussion did that gave the length did not give the length okay Asking for length, right. Asking for length and width. Now, what is given? What is given is this, that a increment in breadth and length, right, by 2 meters each. That means plus 2 in length and plus 2 in breadth. Now, the area is reduced by 28 square meters. When he did that, when he did that, that is reduced so l minus 2 and b minus 2 when we will find out the area the original area reduced by reduced by 28 square meters okay then if the length is reduced by 1 meter now in the second in the second condition uh, now look carefully here in previous in previous uh, question we have given with this upstream downstream first right and here second so two situations were given Right, if you go with this car situation, in that they will moving, moving towards and moving in opposite direction, right. First moving towards and second moving away. So, both, both conditions were discussed. Again, two conditions, right. So, this is the pattern. This is the pattern you have given, you have provided with two situations. Now, what you have to do, you have to just pick first situation and then find the and then find the linear equation two variables first equation will be that and for the second equation you have to pick the second statement you have to pick the second situation and will be having the second linear equation two variables from that 
Now you are having two equations, right? This is the pattern we are following. Now you will be having these two. What you have to do? Two linear equation, two variable and also two variables. So you just can find out that easily, right? So, okay, we were on that question, right? So here it's saying that after that, that increases by 33 square meters. Now you have to find out the length of the rectangle. So for that, what we have to do, we just have to draw a rectangle first, right? Now, rectangle, if I talk about, this is rectangle, right? Again, this is some rectangle. Why two rectangles? Because we have given with the two situations, two situations. So this is the first situation and this is the second situation, students. Okay. We can also talk about this original square. Right. This original square, oh, not square, that's rectangle. We can talk about this original, originals, okay. Now that is the first one, that is the second one, that's the original we are talking about. If I talk about original, um, it's covering my question, I don't like this. Right, so here we are having this original rectangle. Let's suppose they are perfect 90 degree at perfect 90 degree, right? This is 90, this is 90, that will be 90 for sure in that also, in that also. Now, it's talking about length and width. So, the unknowns are this. Now, if the unknowns are this, so I have to write this length as x and this width as y. This is clear to you. This is clear to you now. Now, this is first case in a rectangle, the, lane, the length is increased and the breadth is reduced by 2. Now, length is increased. That means L plus 2, right? So, X plus 2. Length is increased now and the breadth is uh, reduced each by 2 meters. The breadth is reduced each by Sorry, it's y, it's y, so what will it become? If I reduce 2 from y, then that will be y minus 2. Now, why it's saying each, why this word each? Because they are having these two breadth and these two length. Now, for remaining that rectangle, to be a rectangle, if I am adjusting this, that should be also equal to that one. This is what? A basic definition of rectangle opposite opposite sides are parallel and equal so that will be y, uh, y minus 2 again that will be y minus 2 this is x plus 2 so that will be again x plus 2 now what can I do I can just uh, take a different color for this rectangle so this is what this is having the second case if the length is reduced by 1 meter. Length is reduced here by 1 meter. So, this is length. So, that length will be that length what uh, was x but now reduced to now reduced to 1 meter minus 1. Right. And the breadth of the Sorry, uh, the uh, this was we are here and breadth increased by 2 meter. That breadth increased by 2 meter. So, that was y. Now, now will become y plus 2. Okay. These are the rectangle given here. Now, how will I solve it in language? I will just write solution here. In my solution students, in my solution students, what will write first condition first condition right in the first condition what happened length is equals to 
x plus 2 can I directly write it now because we have written that thing again and again let the length be x and the breadth be y of the original rectangle ok. So, according to the question in the condition number 1 we are having length equals to x plus 2 is that ok now you can try it also ok then length is x plus 2 and the breadth is the breadth is here y minus 2 x plus 2 y minus 2. Now, area area reduction area reduction area reduction which is given which is given what the first area reduction is 28 square meters. So, can I write it 28 square meters. So, now area reduction equals to 28 square meter which is given. Now, what is area reduction? What is area reduction? Area reduction is nothing but this is reduced area. Reduced meant that means that reduced. So, original area was was greater. Original area minus area in condition 1. Now, original area original area you are having come this side you are having this original rectangle x and y right x and y. So, the area will be what length multiplied by breadth that is x multiplied by y ok. So, original area equals to length multiply breadth you know this that is x multiplied by y ok. Now, you are having this area in first condition is equals to now we have specified here this is the first condition. So, you are having ok. So, area in first condition now we are having this rectangle and in the first condition we are having the length x plus 2 and the breadth y minus 2. So, the area will be the x plus 2 multiplied by y minus 2 is it so ok x plus 2 and y minus 2 right ok. Now, if is, the, it, uh, is that so that we can put this in the this is my equation 1 which one this complete putting values in equation what what student first what will be having area reduction which is 28 square meter equals to the original area that is x multiplied by y minus x plus 2 and y minus 2. Now, we just can open that and find out the values here x y minus this x multiplied by y. So, that will vanish for sure then just will uh, have that bracket here ok. So, x y then minus of 2 x then plus of 2 y and then minus of 4 again x y here minus 2 x here plus of 2 y here and minus of 4 here. So, we can just open up the, pro, the this bracket now. Now, that will be minus of x y signs will change in the bracket students right minus of x y plus of 2 x minus of 2 y and plus of 4. So, that will be vanished now that something will be having that 4 will come this side if that 4 will come this side that will be of minus. So, if I remove this 4 here 28 minus 4 equals to 24. Now, can I take common 2 here ok that will be 12 equals to x minus y. Now, this is our equation number second that matters to us right. Now, 
we have taken care of this rectangle we have taken care of that original rectangle so can i rub that now okay okay so from this side we'll talk here now in condition second in condition second right what will be having in condition second the area reduction now student the area reduction we have find out the area increase there is not area reduction there is an area increase area increases 33 square meter okay so area increment there is increment of 33 square that is 33 square meters right 33 square meters now 33 square meters area reduction uh, area increment that means if we have the original area so the original area is now less that is original area which was x y now we are having this area now the increment is there so this area will minus from the area original area and that will give us 33 so this implies that 33 square meters or meter square will be equals to that area x minus 1 and y plus 2 that is the condition 2 area area in condition 2 minus the original area now we have covered this one also we will just simply remove this right okay now can we solve this that will be 33 equals to now we will solve this that is x y then plus of 2 x then minus of y and then minus of 2 minus of x y again x y will be cut okay then 33 will be equals to 33 will be equals to now that plus minus 2 will uh, come here and will, uh, will become plus 2 now 33 plus 2 is 35 35 equals to 2x minus y 2x minus y now can i come here and have that value of x equals to value of x from here is 12 plus y so can i just put here this value 2 multiply by 12 plus y minus y right now that will give me 35 equals to 24 plus 2y minus y is what y again okay now this implies that y equals to y equals to what this is 35 and this is 24 that is 11 so y equals to 11 y equals to 11 this is 1 right now if this is 11 then what about by x x is just 12 plus 11 now 12 plus 11 is 23 so can i write where to write just make it here right but x equals to 12 plus y implies that x will be equals to 12 plus 11 and that will be 2 and that will be 3 so x equals to 23 x equals to 23 right now are you done with the question we have find it so now we'll look on the question look in the question and we'll find out that if that was there was a triangle here sorry a rectangle here a rectangle here and a rectangle here so if this this one is x and this one was y so x is what 
x is what 23 and the y was 11 y was 11 now what we have done the length increased and the breadth in, uh, reduced by 2 so this will be plus 2 that is 25 and that will be reduced by 2 that will be 9 this is the first case now the second case the second case that the breadth where it is the, the length the length is reduced by 1 original is 23 so that will be 22 and the breadth was reduced by 2 so this will be reduced by 2 again 9 right so what will that be that is 23 multiply 11 that is 23 here 23 here again 3 5 2 so that will be 253 the area I am talking about square meters okay now 25 and 9 that will be 35 so 215 here so the first condition is 215 now for the second condition that is 22 and 9 that will be 198 now now if I look here, that is 253 minus 215 and that will be, and that will be, eight, three, thirty-eight. So, is that so? The first, the first case, okay, we have removed the condition one. So, condition 1 was that was 28. So, we have done something what that is um, that is a 5. So, that is 25 multiplied by 9. that is 225 right this is 225 so that will be 225 here so that is 28 right now in the first situation we have given with this 28 so that reduced by 28 right in the same manner you can check the next one also okay okay Right. So, this is the solution. This is the solution for your question. Now, note this so that we can move forward. Okay. Now, with the next question. So, ye our next question in a triangle PQR, in a triangle PQR, angle P equals to x degree angle q equals to 3x minus 2 degree this is given okay student now angle r equals to angle r equals to y degree angle r minus angle q this is equals to 9 degree determine the three angles so first what it's talking about it's talking about triangle now if you don't know the properties of triangle what you have to do you have to visit my triangle chapter of this subject and then find out the basic properties then you will be able to have the idea well I know that you know the basic thing of this triangle if this is your triangle student this is your triangle this is P this is Q and this is yes this is R if you don't like this Q here or P here you can just shift them so and given 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 is what given is what let us say uh, p is given x degree so if it is p if it is p it will be x degree right angle q is equals to angle q is here that will be 3x minus 2 okay now angle r angle r is y degree angle r is y degree angle r is y degree now it is given in addition that angle r minus angle q equals to 9 degree and that is so important thing which is given why it is so important thing uh, to be given because 
because because students it is giving us the second equation. So, where is the first equation? First equation is here in this triangle you know that the sum of the all angles of a triangle that means three angles is one, nothing but 180 degrees. So, we will uh, we'll follow that particular rule first and the second which is given here that is angle 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 r minus angle q equals to 90 because when we know all three angles are either in the form of x or in the form of y. So, this will form a linear equation in the terms of x and y right and we are already having this um, equation here uh, r and q equals to 90 degree again r in the form of x and y or x or y and angle q is either in the form of x or y or both ok. So, we will have these two equations. Now, the solution, so the given part, given part my dear student, the given part is angle P equals to x degree. So, I am just uh, removing the degree right now, angle Q equals to 3x minus 2 degree, right and angle R equals to, angle R equals to simply y, right, this is given. Again, second thing which is given is angle R minus angle Q equals to 9 degree. Angle R minus angle Q equals to 9, no, 90 degree, sorry 9 degree. Now, we have to find what we have to find values of the three angles. Now, what are the three angles? Angle P equals to what? Angle Q equals to what? And angle, angle R equals to what? We have to find this. Now, now solution talking about the solution part students what we will do what we will do we will take this given part angle r minus angle q equals to 9 degree this is given this is given so okay this is given now angle r angle r angle r angle r is y minus angle q we are just putting the values angle q angle q is here 3x minus 2 minus minus of 3x minus 2 equals to what 9 ok. Now, what will you do Mohit what will you do in this case you will just simply remove this bracket. So, minus of 3x plus minus and minus multiplication then plus of 2 equals to 9 that implies that y equals to what y equals to what from there. 3x transpose it there, 3x of plus and then plus of 7. So, y equals to 3x plus of 7, y equals to 3x plus of 7. So, this is our, this is our, let us say the first equation. Now, now we know this that sum of all angles of triangle is equals to what my dear students 180 degree now you know that ok. So, if it is 180 degree what it implies that angle P plus angle Q plus angle R angle P plus angle Q plus angle R will be equals to 180 degree now angle P angle P is x angle Q angle Q is 2 x minus 2 plus angle r is simply y, y here now you know the value of y, this y, this y's value is, 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 we can draw that value from here. So, put the value of y, put in value, value of y from equation what? 1 that is why we name it like 1 ok. So, that will become that will become x plus 3 x now can I directly write it like 4 x 4 x minus of 2 plus of y plus of y and y is 3 x plus plus 3 x plus 7 equals to 180 degree now that will become 4 plus 3 equals to 7. So, 7x now this is 7 and this is 2. So, that will become 5 now 5 of plus will go this side 180 minus 5 180 minus 5 is 175 equals to 175 ok. 
So x will be equals to x will be equals to what? 175 by 7. This implies that this implies that value of x will be 7 2s are 14, 2s are 14, 15, 16, 17, 3 remaining, 3, 7, 7, 5s are 35. So 25 is the value of x. 25 is the value of x. Now then come this side students from there we know but but y equals to 3x plus 7 if y equals to 3x plus 7 if y equals to 3x plus 7 y will become 3 multiplied by x x value is 25 25 plus 7 so so y will be equals to 75 plus 7 so y will be equals to what will be the value of y value of y will be equals to this is 75 and this is 7 to 82 right hmm? okay so this is 82 right 75 here okay plus 7 here 2 here Right, 82. Now, value of x is 7, uh, 25. Value of y. Value of y is what? 82. So, the values will become 25 here. Here, that will become 82. If I calculate this value, 3x minus 2. Now, 3 multiplied by 75 minus 2 is 73. So, that will become 73. Now, how can I know that this val these values are right or wrong? Right or wrong? How? Because these values should give the summation 180. Now, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 0, 1, 9. Or you can write uh, 8 here and 8 here. So, 16, 17 and 18. So, 180. 180 is the sum. So this is uh, this is the angles of a triangle. Okay. So first thing is this. Now, angle R, angle R minus angle Q equals to what? Angle R, angle R is 82 minus angle Q. Angle Q is now if you minus 82 by 83, that's simply 9. So it is equals to 9 degree, and this is given. This is given. So again, it's proved. So, yes, we find out the correct values. Now, student, what you do generally, students, what do generally? That they find out the value of x and y and finish the question. Now, you don't need to finish the question there because you have asked about the values of three angles, not the values of x and y. Not values of x and y. You have completed just a step. You have to, you have to give angles. So, the angle P equals to, can I write here, angle P equals to 25, angle Q equals to, angle Q equals to 73 and angle R equals to 82. These are your answer. Right. Note them. Note them students so that we can move forward. Okay. Noted. Okay. So, student, this is about today. Okay, so in this uh, in this particular uh, session, what we have done, we have done two questions, and in next session, we'll just revise all these things and we'll find out that what and what we have studied till now. Okay, so ready for summary in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye bye.